I got the new LED uh, LED bars in there. Put the switches on there for the track sensors and the three uh, clear, zone clears. Uh, and the dip switch, three dip switches in there for the uh, zone sets. This enabled me to figure out uh, some wiring errors here. <coughs> Scope does show. There's a scope showing up right there. So the bottom line is this guy right here, one of the LEDs, and the top line is um, one of the zone um, display lights. But it's 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 so fast turning off that this little scope isn't good enough to pick it up. Anyway, I don't have that many more sessions to do until this is completely migrated into the Motorola board from the old processor. And then these connectors here will jump right into the 40 uh, pin ZIF socket that's already in the unit that uses the old processor. So it works pretty cool. It's been easy, no, no major headaches. Demo mode by the by the switch the switch settings down there. Setting at number three and six are the two settings for the of the automatic demo. If I set the um, switches to seven. Now we're in the track testing mode. So these uh, these are the six tracks. These, these first six buttons here are the six tracks. So when a car cuts the finish line, beep, there you see you can see it works. So I've got the track. That's the last one, yeah. That's the track system. So when this, um, the unit is set up, you can just wipe your hand across the sensors and break the light, and, and then the LEDs will, will um, set accordingly. There's still a bug here in the system. See, this, this is a setting set. This is a setting of seven, but only. Um, it's kind of weird. I got to figure that out. I also just put in one of the um, variables to this bar graph here too on port F. So it looks, looks pretty good. I'll put it back to, I'll switch from 7 back to 6. Yeah, so it's running again. And this is just one side of the unit. Uh, these setup lights exist on both sides both sides of the unit, up track and down track, so no matter what, where you're at, uh, the viewing public can see the winners and losers and the operation of the finish line itself. That's pretty slick. So what I'll do is I'll set a, uh, set a, a track race up. Put it in the setting of, uh, switch setting of two, hit reset. There. The demo finishes and it goes back online. I'll hit reset. Deep. So you can tell by the zone setting here that uh, this is the combination between the three. One, two, and three. The middle one set. And what that does is it divides the track in half. So the three lanes, three lanes this side, three lanes on that side. So basically these three, these six switches now are, are one, end, one side of the track and the other side of the track. So as we press, oh, there's a winner, and then no matter what you do, see, no matter what you do, that zone is locked up. And we go to the next zone for the next winner, and there's a winner and those two losers. See how that works? And then we can do a, uh, and then we can, and then these clear buttons, the middle button doesn't do anything. Oh, it shouldn't. I still got, to, I still got some bugs to figure out. Not many, but it's pretty cool. Works out pretty good. Anyway, this is the um, migration of the finish line from the 
older processors to the new processors in the Freescale Motorola company. So I'm quite pleased with it. Right on. Continue on to get this debugged. Put the demo mode back on. That's all for now.